All right, what's up and welcome to the channel. My name is Hackshot. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have an exciting product to show you, something I've been asking for for a long time, and I know a lot of y'all have as well. We finally have an outside the waistband holster from Tolster. I've been working with these guys for five to six years now, man, a very long time, essentially since we started the channel, maybe a year after we started the channel. A ton of y'all have bought a ton of holsters from Tolster, and uh, it's been an awesome privilege to work with these guys and see them grow, see them expand. And now we have something uh, truly unique from them and, and stepping into a whole new genre. And it's really perfect timing, especially here in South Carolina, as we now have open carry, uh, which is a great thing. All right. So if you've literally just been waiting on an outside the waistband holster from Tolster and that's it, you know, everything you need to know about it, the discount code is still there. Yes. 15% off through Tolster using our discount code HEG87. I'll leave a link down below, of course. And also you can check out the holster over there with that same link, okay? So, but for everybody that wants to know the features, hopefully you'll stick around and let me show you everything they've done with this holster. And I'm deeming it a super ultra concealable outside the waistband option. Uh, kind of has changed my mind as far as outside the waistband being a super concealable option. And of course, I'll show you what it looks like on me compared to, of course, like their oath holster and just give you an idea of, of what that's going to look like. Can, can it really be as concealable as an inside the waistband holster? We'll find that out here in a little bit. Let me tell you some of the features. First, let me go over the list of guns that they actually have available. So I'm gonna put those on the screen just so you get an idea because it's a ton of guns, but Glocks, HK VP9, SIGs, Smith & Wessons, all of that good stuff. But there are a ton of options and there is some interchangeability there. So it's not like they have a ton of different holsters for each gun. Uh, you'll see the interchangeability because the guns I list side by side that model will fit that specific gun, okay? Does that make sense? So uh, there we go. That'll be up on the screen for y'all. Let me talk about the features here really quick um, and show you what they have. Now, one thing that I thought was impressive, one thing I always loved about Tolster and still love about them is their ability to have a minimal footprint, all right? Remember, keep your package small with Tolster. Remember that video I did a long time ago? A lot of y'all like that little slogan. I was hoping that Tolster would deem that slogan, would pick that slogan up with royalties, of course, paid to me. They have not done that yet, but I'm still going to try to push the issue. Regardless, they keep your package small, and that's what you want. You don't want to buy a freaking, you know, Glock 19 or a Shield, you know, Plus and have this big honking material and design around it and all this kind of, it kind of takes away from your concealable gun, right? So, and they've kept that with their outside the waistband holster, right? So if you look at the old holster compared to the new contour, literally you have the wings stick out just a little bit. You see that right there? That's it. And speaking of the wings, they're asymmetrical. And what they've done is they've, they have this like molded in design. That's what they're calling it. And basically it allows the holster to hug tightly and close to your body. They want to keep that same idea, minimal materials, and keep it close to your body. And that's what they've done here. If we look at the front, this is the RAS. So this is the retention system. And essentially all you're gonna do with this, it's all stainless steel hardware, by the way. But basically you just loosen this up just a little bit and you can slide this up and down. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create different retention points along this slot to give you more or less retention depending on how you like to carry. So they have adjustable retention in this new holster, which is a great thing. Also, one thing they've carried over from their other holsters is adjustable cant. So with your belt loops, uh, now you actually have the ability, like let's say you want to move this forward just a little bit, you could actually drop this one down a notch, as you can see right there, drop it down a notch, and then that will allow you to get a little bit of adjustable cant there in the holster. And of course, you could do the same with this one right here. You could drop them both down, whatever you like to do. You have like a quarter inch of ride height adjustment. And of course you have adjustable cant there as well. This is going to be optics capable, all right? So let's take a standard Glock, Gen 5 Glock, right? Mid sweat shield right there, as you can see. But then I wanna take my optics ready MOS Glock, boom. All right, so you have the sight channel here, a raised sight channel. 
All right, so if you have higher night sights or something like that, again, you still get that capability and also anything with an optic, it's gonna allow you to carry that. High undercut in under the grip, and I can't stress this enough, this allows you to get a really good grip on the gun, which I'm showing you right now in video, that allows you to get a good draw the first time, okay? So no fumbling around. You have a lot of material cut out here just for that purpose. Also, your magazine release is uh, exposed, which I prefer, because it allows you to do quick reloads while you actually put your gun in the holster and all of that good stuff. That's something I like, and no, I've never inadvertently knock the magazine release to knock the magazine out of the gun. I'm not saying it can never happen, but I've been carrying the holsters for a long time and it just has never happened to me, okay? All right, some more of the little polished details that they actually give you. Uh, you actually have a matte and rounded and buffed edges, all right? And this is for obvious reasons. So, you know, it's more comfortable to wear. And then you have an open-ended muzzle down here, all right? So that allows any kind of extra lint and stuff. It's not gonna catch all of the lint or allow all of it to fall through. It essentially allows that muzzle to keep open. So some of that stuff will actually fall through for you. Blackened stainless steel hardware all the way throughout. One other thing that these guys like to do is, is keep the drag minimal on the gun. And what I mean by that is they don't want any extra retention anywhere on the gun except for the trigger guard. That is the most important part. Let me show you a different holster. By the way, this is their camo that they came out with. They also have the black carbon fiber, which has been huge for them. And then also the, the matte black. All right. So Finally got a holster for my P320 that I actually feel comfortable carrying with, man. And, and like I said, I'll show all these on so you can get an idea of what they look like. But essentially what this gives you is, is you have a little bit of a, a raised area here. They don't want anything else touching and causing drag on the gun except for the retention and the trigger guard, which is where you actually want this, okay? You get a nice clean draw out of the gun, right? And then you get a positive snap into place just like that. So they were able to keep that positive engagement and retention uh, with this new holster. So another note on the RAS right here. So basically by moving this up, it prevents the shell from actually uh, flexing as much. So it's gonna increase the retention. If you move this down, it's going to allow the shell to, to flex a little bit more and loosen the retention. All right, so that's how this actually works you set it to your preference and you can move it around as needed. All right, so I showed you all the features, showed you a little bit of comparison with some of the original ones. By the way, here's the P365XL. I know this is super popular. And you get that ultra minimal design and it keeps the profile of the gun really small. That's what you want. Um, so there's the P365XL. Of course, I have the P320RX Glock 19. All right, so I showed you all the features and all of the new features for this holster. I wanna show you what they look like on and a couple more things, man, and we'll end the video out over there. Slide that on like that. Again, good gun belt. I use Core Essentials. That's what I use personally for the gun belt. But as you can see, there's no sag, no nothing like that. So as far as, you know, I've never had a problem with the holster uh, just the quick clips. I've always liked the soft loop so too because it gives you this same type of design here. Um, although it's not the quick snap adjustments like the soft loops, it's so easy to take on and off. I don't really notice it. So as you can see, and I don't know how much of this you can see, if I just turn like this, you can see how closely hugged it is to my body. Super comfortable to sit down with if I need it. It's right there. And I'm gonna be honest with you, oh man, I really didn't think I would care for carrying outside the waistband. I prefer the idea of carrying concealed because it just, you know, that's that's a part of it. That's a that's an important part of it. Nobody knows that you're carrying, all right? There, there's two ways you can look at this. It's either you become the target of somebody's aggression because they know you're carrying, or you become a turret, deterrent because people know, hey, that guy has a gun, I'm not even messing with that place. You can look at it both ways. I can see it from both ways, all right? But I do like the comfort and convenience of knowing there's no getting the shirt out of the way. There's no nothing like that. If you need your gun, you're in a bad spot, boom, it's right there, super, super quick. Need to reholster it, hear that click, you know it's back in place. 
Now, if I go into a place, I don't know, I don't feel comfortable with what, for whatever reason, and I need to conceal this. If you are a gun person <laughs> and you're looking around my waistband for whatever reason, you will probably know eh, there's something there. So this is kind of a larger gun as well. All right, I'm gonna show you some smaller options too and we'll kind of see how, con how concealable those actually can be as well. But there's the P320RX, just like that. All right, so you can see I moved the clips around a little bit. I moved this back one down. You actually have four little slots in there so you can do those quarter inch adjustments for your ride height and however you wanna play around with this, there is some adjustability there and this actually moves that cant a little bit like I was telling you. So now the gun is facing forward a little bit more if you wanted to, to kind of face more backwards, really up to you. But I at least wanted to show you what this option looks like. And again, I prefer the straight draw, to be honest with you, for outside the waistband. Whereas I'm so used to having a little bit of cant forward with inside the waistband, but really the adjustment between the two has taken me nothing. Uh, now that it's canted a little bit more, you know, I can definitely see it. It just feel like I'm, it's more comfortable with a straight draw, but again, you have that option to kind of play with it around. You know, as you see it, normally with that little bit of a can, it might give you a little bit more concealability as far as the grip, because it's kind of gonna kind of be hugged in a closer a little bit to your body. So either way, man, there is the Tolster contour. All right, so there are all of the features that I know about on the Tolster contour. I know this video ran over a little bit. But I wanted to show you, man, if you don't know anything about holsters or you don't know anything about this new holster, I wanted to show you all the little features that can really make a big difference. And one thing I can say is this thing is super concealable for outside the waistband carry. And in certain applications like your shields and your P365s, it may not be as concealable, but it is pretty dang close. So there you go. There is the Tolster Contour. Again, if you want to pick one up, Use my discount code HAG87 and the link down below. Thank you guys so much. If you have any more comments or questions, just leave them down below. And please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, hold them down.